Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode where we're discussing the changing standards. I'm Mike, this is Russ, we are from Eagle Force. And uh, before we dive into today's topic, we want to quickly address a um, common question, another common question that came in from you guys, which is, um, you know, recently we have said that you need to get going right away on, on getting these changes going. And your valid question was, that's great, but with how long it's taking this video series to kind of unpack all of this content, how are you to get going right away um, when it's going to take us quite a bit to sort of deliver all the info to you? I hate valid questions. So. <laughs> yeah. But the, what we should have explained is this is a companion series we're doing. It, 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 we have a course online that covers all this succinctly and adequately and it will help you. And then this, this discussion is we're having together will really help you unpack all this stuff. So yeah. this is a companion series to the course online. We invite you to check it out. Yeah, the intent of the course is to uh, sit you down and quickly walk you through the entire right. standard. The intent of this video series is is uh, the dialogue that we've been having and, and so, to so, take some of those key things and right. kind of expand on them. So we've been talking about the, the core methodologies that the standard's been using and and you need to use or anyone needs to use to really manage their processes and yeah one of the things that i think is key is whenever there's a, a, a large change like this to the standard it really gives you an opportunity to rethink your entire system yeah. and the component processes uh, not only to meet the standard but maybe more importantly um to do you like your system do you like how it's operating right and this is a, a large part of what we do when we come into an organization is help them develop and optimize the processes. And we found that there's some key tools that we are, that we found really effective and we want to share them with you. In fact, we want to give one to you, make it, make it available to you today. Um, and Michael will explain when we get to that point how to, how to actually get that. But So when we work with organizations, one of the things that we ask them when we sit down with them is to describe their processes and, you know, what how the processes work, how does a, what's the flow of the product and the information, how, how define that for us. How does that usually go when you're, when you're asking them about it? Uh, kind of rough at first, <laughs> um, particularly if it's a new system we're putting in place. And what we typically hear, we never went in a company that didn't already exist, so they had processes, but they're not typically very well documented or captured. And so what we hear is, well, we do A and then we do B and Sometimes we do C or, or maybe D or, or maybe D or and and so of course that indicates that the processes are not really captured or optimized and well defined with. right and what we also find out is once we do capture them they're looking at that and they they make the decision that it's not really meeting their business needs yeah and that kind of goes back to the plan do check act that you can see that they're planning and doing but yeah. they haven't been checking and then acting on what they're finding and frankly one of the reasons that many organizations are in a situation is they, they, they're they unaware of what tools are really out there to be able to help them optimize their processes or yeah. capture them in the first place. And so that's one of the things we want to bring to this conversation is, you know, things like, you know, looking at system flow charts with swim lanes, SIPOX, turtles, things like that, you know. Well, first we had elephants, now we have turtles. Yes, this is going to turn into a real zoo before it's over with. <laughs> But we're going we're to talk about Cypox and, and, and turtles in a couple of weeks. In fact, we have a template that, that we'll provide for you if, yeah. you, if you'd like, if that'd be helpful to you. Today, we really want to talk about process maps, especially process charts with swim lanes. Um, I think swim lanes is one of those concepts that uh, uh, some folks are familiar with, but many aren't. Could you kind of break that down a little bit, what those look like? Sure. Picture me on a starting block, and I'm getting ready to swim in the pool, and it's got these lines. I'd rather not picture that. Oh. Okay. <laughs> okay, we'll talk about charts. Um, in your traditional flow chart, which if you look up on the screen, you'll see the flow of the process is identified, but it's not readily apparent what the interaction is with the associated processes. But when you look at a swim lane, a flow chart with a swim lane, you'll see each process has their own lane, but how it interacts with this other processes. So take a look at what we have on the screen. And for example, you'll see configuration management, CM. 
it, it, we don't just define what, what they do, but you're able to see where do the documents come from that go into CM, and where does production get the documents when they, they go to, they're going into production. Yeah, so, it's a lot easier to see the, the process flow, and also it's very clear to see how it interacts with the other processes. Yep, that's, that's, that's very true. So one of the things, though, that creating a flow chart with swim lanes it typically has been done in Visio, and I don't know about you, but Visio is not easy to work with, yes. and many organizations don't, there's only a couple people in there that even have it, and so what we did was we created one of these swim lane flow charts in Excel. Yeah, everyone's got Excel, we wanted to make a right. tool that kind of everyone can just, you know, get a hold of and use. Exactly. So we wanted to make it available to you, so I would recommend that you, you we encourage everybody to develop uh, flow charts swim lane flow with swim lanes for their whole process I mean the whole system and that it sounds a, like a tall order but I, I feel like it's it's not feel like it's worth your while yeah it's amazing how that'll give you a, a view of your your system and we've done this in countless organizations amazing how just doing that helps organize optimize their processes when they realize that's how we do it yes. you know I mean? yeah yeah so now keep in mind we're not suggesting that you uh, if, if you're at those beginning stages and you're trying to kind of create, you know, or even flow, optimizing, yeah, yeah, we're not suggesting you use the swim lane uh, Excel spreadsheet for that necessarily. This is more for, you know, things are rolling and you're using it to sort of capture yeah. the finished product. Right. Um, uh, with that, to to get a hold of that, uh, we're going to put a, a link. Actually, there should be a link right here on the screen. You can go ahead and click that. That'll take you to our website. You can download it from there. Um, I'll make sure that we have a, a link in the description, and it'll be back on our site. So you can click either of those and, and, and get back to it and download it. But So that's for capturing the system. But what about for those who are when just at the beginning? Yeah, yeah, they, yeah. And they're, they're trying to lay something out. Well, back in the swimming pool, no, no, okay, not forget the swimming pool. The, Nothing works better than a whiteboard and post-it notes. In fact, we stuck one up there for you to look at, and this is an actual client that we work with. And so, what you'll see is that it, you you you, develop, you have your core processes, and then what are the activities that take place, and you you use the post-it notes and connect them. It's easy to move those things around. Once you get it and get it optimized the way you want it, then you capture it and in the Excel. That's where the swim lanes come in. Yes, and exactly. Be able to capture it. So, so that'll do it for this week. Uh, we're we're kind of running along on time here, so we're going to wrap it up. But uh, next week, definitely join us. We're going to take the deep dive. We're going to look at one of the key concepts that has changed in the standard. You definitely don't want to yeah, buckle uh, up for that, that one. You know. <laughs> so please contact us. Um, this this really works because you're part of this, and we invite you to reach out to us with comments, suggestions, compliments. You know. <laughs> yeah. So anyway. Did, yeah, you can comment below, uh, down in the comment section there. You can email us. You can get to us through our website if you want to. Uh, and dog can, with a note in his mouth? Well, he'd be faster than the turtle. Well, right. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so uh, remember, download uh, that swim lane that we got out there for you, and we will see you next week.